Hi guys, this is Susan. I'm making this video because I want to tell you the true quality of the products made by Blanc and Eclair. So, at first, how would you describe this brand? Elegant? Dedicate? Boutique? Chic? Yeah. I would say these beautiful adjectives to describe this brand before I received this jacket. So, the story began in January when I bought this jacket from the official website of B&E. I was so excited because it's the first time that I bought a ready-to-wear from Blanc & Eclair. I mean, I bought some products from B&E before. For example, the sunglasses. And more sunglasses. And hats. And denims. And handbags. Also, the skincare series. It was, <clears throat> but it was the first time that I bought a ready-to-wear. So, I was very excited. You know, I had some very high expectations, which I should not have. When I received the jacket, I didn't realize that it has so many problems. It has a kind of, you know, a beautiful future. Actually, what I have now is the jacket they replaced for me. Um, I'm going to tell you what problems it has later. Let's see what problems the jacket has. There are four big problems on the first jacket that I received. One, you can see from this picture, right? You can see around the shoulder area, it should be like bubble sleeves, which you could see on the shoulder area. The right side is higher, is bigger, and left side, it almost has no bubbles. And the second problem is on the sleeves. The buttons on the sleeves, you can see that the distance between the buttons are not the same. Okay, the third problem is that the top button on the front on the front side fell down when I was hanging out with my sister. So when I back to home, I tightened all these three buttons. The last but not the least problem is that you can see the logo, the tag is on the left side of the central line. By the way, you can see that they didn't iron the lapel appropriately. I didn't examine this jacket so carefully when I received it until February 18th. So what happened on this day? At that night, I was shopping on the website of B&E and I found that, wow, there's a discount on the jacket that I liked, which is Celine. So I added to my chart and I paid for it and the page came out. There are circle, there is a circle, circling. And there are a phrase under it says, your order is processing. So I wait, 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 and wait. But the order just disappeared. So I clicked back to the payment page, but it just still didn't work. I'm thinking, well, I, I'm writing to B&E, so why, why don't I just tell them the problems of the jacket? So I wrote two emails that night. One tells about the payment issue. Second tells about the problems of the jacket. But you know that I was very annoyed because you know, your, your money just like disappeared and it's more than $200. I mean, maybe it's not a big, maybe it's not a big amount of money for some of you, but it's big for me. So I, I was annoyed. I just could not fall asleep. So. Uh, on the morning of the second day, I called the Alipay, um, which is the payment platform I used to pay for the jacket. They told me that the money has arrived, but they don't know either why the order disappeared. So what they could do is keep informing B&E about the payment. That's all what they can help. So I wait until noon, but there's no replies from the email. So I just call the flagship of b and &E, which is in Seoul, and luckily they had someone who could speak English. So I told the staff about um, my email address and my telephone number, and I asked her to inform the head office about my emails. I guess it's half an hour or one hour later, I got replies. So the replies goes like this. They asked me to return the defective jacket and they promised to confirm my payment of the Celine. 
And from the email, you can see they have no will to apologize or compensate. So I proactively raised the idea that I want a compensation, but they refused me. It's like, if you don't ask, I will not apologize. Even you ask for compensation, I will not compensate for you. I guess I'm just a tiny consumer who would not affect their business at all. So yeah, they could totally ignore how I feel. I, I, I also mentioned them about this video. So, so BNE, please do not be surprised when you see this video, if possible. I returned the defective jacket to their warehouse in China, which is in Shenzhen. And they sent me this jacket back. Okay, I could try on this jacket for you guys. When I received this jacket, I quickly checked its conditions, like um, the shoulder area, the sleeves, but unfortunately, this logo just, um, it's, it's going up rather than going down, you see? I should emphasize that when I received this cloth, it didn't look beautiful as it, as it is now, because they didn't iron and press it. So it's just like a, you know, a paper ball, a robbed paper ball. And I found, I would say, numerous thread on this cloth. On the front, on the bottom, on the back, everywhere. But I think, okay, thread is okay because I, I could cut them and then it will be fine. But I didn't realize that there's a secret hidden in this jacket. You can see that? The pocket, it's open. You could put your, your fingers in it. I didn't find this until I put a pen in my pocket. When I tried to get it out, I, I mean, well, there's no, there's no pen in my pocket, but well, I can feel it. So it turns out to be in the area between the pocket and the inner side. I, I just don't know how to describe my, my mood at the moment. I was shocked. I was upset. I was annoyed and I was tired. I was just tired of reporting the problems of the clothes to b &E. So when I had this awful shopping experience, I was wondering, am I the only one who received a clothes that in poor quality from b &E? Is it just because that I had a bad luck? So I opened my stories on Weibo, which is a Chinese social media platform, and I got some comments. I want to read it for you. Actually, I will translate it for you because it's all Chinese. So the first is, oh, I've also bought many clothes from b and &E, but the quality really varies. It feels like they're selling design. Some of the quality is good, but some are bad. Oh, says, I bought a shirt from B&E last year and I found all the buttons are loosened. So I tightened them myself. Is that the reason why B&E does not allow to replace discounted products? I bought the jeans shirt from B&E and it's priced like more than 1,000 RMBs. Oh, it's just the same as what my, what my friend bought, priced just 100 RMB. There are also some disagreements. A girl said, oh, you don't have to take it so seriously. It was born to sell design rather than quality. We all know that the concept of b and &E is less is more. Please don't say this is how you call it, less is more. Do you mean less quality, more compliments? I mean, okay, it may sound mean, but I just can't help. And b and &E, you know you deserve it. So what I learned from this whole shopping experience is that I just should not connect the brand with Jessica John so tightly. Yes, she works there and she is um, the design director, but she would not supervise all the process of making the clothes. I think my words is pointing to the group of people who are in charge of this company. You should know that the factory you cooperated, they sucks and your customer service department, they obviously didn't accept any training. They don't care about customers and they need the customers to tell them to apologize. Also, the platform you use is, it's terrible. 
I mean, how would an online store shut its payment gateway at a Friday night? That sounds ridiculous. Maybe I should realize that the brand is the brand and Jessica is Jessica. She may not have the right to decide every details in this company. I noticed that they're going to launch their new series of spring and summer 2022. I truly wish that the new series would be better than this one. Um, you're welcome to leave comments or send messages to me. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, both are okay. I guess this is all for today. See ya!